Hello, and welcome to Critical Environment Technologies video tutorial series, AST Second Generation Analog Transmitter. In this tutorial, I will show you how to adjust the alarm set point for relay and demonstrate the calibration procedure for the AST Second Generation Analog Transmitter. The AST may be purchased with an optional relay, and if supplied, the alarm set point can be field adjusted. A relay is a switch that can be configured to turn something on or off, such as an exhaust fan or a remote strobe or horn, when gas reading levels reach or exceed the alarm set point. In this example, we have an electrochemical CO sensor with a range of 0 to 200 ppm, and we want to set our alarm set point to 25 ppm, so that when the gas reading reaches or exceeds 25 ppm, the relay will de-energize and turn on an exhaust fan. The test point voltage range is 0 to 4 volts, where 0 volts equals 0 ppm and 4 volts equals 200 ppm. We need to find out what volt equals the alarm set point of 25 ppm. To do this, we use the formula shown on the screen. The information we know is the desired set point value, which is 25 ppm, and the sensor range value, which is 200 ppm. 25 divided by 200 equals 12.5% of range. Multiply this value by 4 volts and the test point voltage setting to achieve an alarm set point of 25 ppm is 0.5 volts. To set this alarm set point, attach the voltmeter leads to test points TP1 and TP2. Move the jumper from idle to position 5, alarm set point. The LED will flash green to confirm it is ready for you to set the value. Use the up and down push buttons to adjust the number to the calculated voltage reading on the multimeter, which is 0.5 volts in this exercise. If the AST you have has the optional display, the display will show 25 ppm. Move the jumper back to the idle position and the alarm set point value will be saved. The LED will flash green once for confirmation. To calibrate the AST, you will need a calibration kit, gas cyl cylinders with sufficient amount, correct concentration and type of gas, and a voltmeter with hook-on leads. It is also important that you make sure the sensor you are calibrating has not passed its life expectancy. In this demonstration, I am using an AST with an electrochemical CO sensor. The first step in calibration is to set the cal gas value. To calculate the value that needs to be set, you must use the formula shown on the screen. The values we know are the factory set cal gas default for CO is 100 ppm and the CO sensor range is 0 to 200 ppm. Using the formula, we are able to calculate that the cal gas value for CO is 2 volts. Although the factory default is set to 2 volts and corresponds to 100 ppm of cal gas concentration, we strongly recommend that you calculate the cal gas value to ensure this setting hasn't been changed in the field by another technician using a different cal gas concentration. For example, in a situation where you might have a different cal gas concentration in your toolkit, you will need to use a formula to calculate the correct voltage so the unit knows what reference to use. For example, if you are using a 50 ppm concentration, you will calculate that the cal gas value should be set to 1 volt. Open the AST and find the jumper bank on the left side of the board. Move the jumper from the idle position to position 2, span gas value. The green LED light on the outside of the enclosure will flash once to confirm that it is ready for you to set the cal gas value. Attach the voltmeter leads to test point TP1 and TP2. Use the up and down push buttons to adjust the number to the calculated voltage reading on the multimeter, which is 2 volts in this exercise. If the AST you have has the optional display, the display will read 100 ppm. To complete the set cal gas value procedure, move the jumper back to the idle position. The new value will be saved and the LED will change back to solid green. 
To begin the zero calibration, attach the regulator to the cylinder, insert the calibration adapter into the sensor opening in the front of the enclosure door, and open the regulator valve fully, allowing the zero gas to flow over the sensor. Move the jumper from the idle position to the null position. The LED will change to a solid amber color. The system will wait 30 seconds to make sure the zero air is flowing continuously. Then the AST will start a second 60 second countdown during which time it adjusts the null value. If you would like to watch this process, attach the voltmeter leads to TP1 and TP2. The voltmeter will show zero, then climb higher and then slowly descend back down to zero. Once the countdown is finished and the AST has adjusted the null value, the LED will change back to solid green. If your AST has the optional display, it will show Kali Null. Move the jumper back to the idle position and then remove the zero air cylinder. If after flowing zero air, the circuit does not settle within the 20% tolerance value, you can continue the null procedure by performing an unlock function. To do this, push both the up and down buttons together. The zero calibration procedure will then continue. To begin the span calibration, attach the regulator to the cylinder, insert the calibration adapter into the sensor opening in the front of the enclosure door, and open the regulator valve fully, allowing the span gas to flow over the sensor. Move the jumper to position 4, which is the span position. The LED will change to a solid amber color. Continue to flow the gas for 30 seconds. The AST will begin a 150-second countdown during which time it will adjust the circuit to the span gas value that you set earlier. If you would like to watch this process, attach the voltmeter leads to TP1 and TP2. The voltmeter will show an increasing voltage indicating the sensor is responding to the span gas and the circuit is being adjusted for accuracy. Once the countdown is finished, the LED will change back to solid green, indicating the procedure is complete. If your AST has the optional display, it will show Kali span done. Move the jumper back to the idle position and remove the span gas. The LED light will turn red because the sensor is sensing residual gas. As the gas dissipates, the LED will turn amber and then green. This completes the calibration procedure for the AST second generation analog transmitter. If you would like more information, please visit us at critical-environment.com or contact your authorized dealer, regional sales manager or any other member of our team at 1-877-940-8741. Thanks for watching.